Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday, the 17th of May, 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from the first book of Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, which reads, Do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insult, but with blessing. Because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. We have all had our personal encounters with people who can be really difficult to deal with. It could perhaps be because of culture or mindset differences or a, an unpleasant past experience or just simple impressions that make it hard to get along with someone. But scripture teaches us that God is a God who values unity and peace, not arguing and fighting. It's so sad to see how many believers nowadays are making such a big fuss out of small things such as the differences that they may have. God calls us to set aside these differences and to love and to respect one another, whether or not it seems convenient to us or not. Now, I'm not saying that there is no such thing as a horrible person, but we must always bear in mind that in one way or another, we are actually no better. We all need the grace of God and the fullness of Christ in our lives. And the way we get that and do that is to show love to each other just as Christ loved us, even when we were still sinners and very difficult to deal with and probably still most likely are to deal with. So here's two tips to help in the matter. Tip number one is in coping with the difficult person is to strive to understand what makes them difficult. Why are people difficult? I often ask myself, and there are many reasons. There are some under tremendous personal pressures that you are not even aware of. Perhaps a relationship is going south, going sour, a child is sick, or someone else, something else has happened in their lives. Some people are emotional cripples, wounded from childhood, carrying scarred memories with them and being burnt by others. A person who appears to be very difficult really isn't that difficult, but they appear to be a real pain in the neck. Getting to know the difficult person often eliminates the barrier between you. So try having a cup of coffee with them. Oh, this is the last thing on your mind. I know you say, what? Never. But try having a cup of coffee. Do that as an icebreaker. Do something nice for the difficult person. Ask yourself this question. Is the person difficult simply because they are responding to me as a difficult person as well? That's a two-way street, this, my friends. Tip number two. In dealing with a difficult person, we need to pray for the difficult person about our relationship with that person. You are going to have to deal with the situation. So we can pray to God, say, Lord, I'm really having a difficult problem with this person and a difficult time. Please help me that I can understand them. Please change them and change me as well. You see, it's not always about God changing other people. Sometimes the problem exists in ourselves. When you've made the situation a matter of prayer, then you are ready for your next step. My dear friends, sometimes a person appears difficult to us. But what about you? Are you perhaps also not being difficult in not wanting to understand and love the other person? Think about it. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.